Hey, everybody. Welcome to Listen. Welcome to Listen with Tania and Wynn tonight. How y'all doing? Hey, hey, hey. How are you? How are you? In case you don't know, it's November 21st, 2023. Mm -hmm. And you are live with us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited that you're here. My name is Tania Briscoe Easterling. I'm coming to you live tonight from that lovely place that I call the Middle Coast. And this person over here, <laughs> always. Every week. Hi, I am Wynn. I'm the other half of Tini and Wynn. And I am so excited to be here with you. Our cousin sisters, our dads are identical twins. And you know, every week we are going to bring you something that's real and relevant. So sit back tonight. Yeah, uh, tonight. I mean, this whole season, we're just going we to we're just going to stop apologizing. We, no need. Just, no need. just buckle in for mm -hmm. it. Every every Tuesday night, as long as God has this season going on, just we're just gonna give that disclaimer now at the beginning. Just buckle up and just just be ready. Just be ready. Mm -hmm. Hope you brought something to sip with because we love to sip. So, honey, you see that listener, that listen cup, that listen cup <laughs> available by the way on our website. So, Ooh. if you haven't already, take the time to make sure that you have liked, subscribed. Turn your notifications on to both our Facebook channel and our YouTube channel. We have a website where you can submit your prayer requests. We'd love to partner in prayer with you. Full disclaimer, we are going to be praying the will of God for your life, just so you know. So you yeah. can put in, you can you can submit specific requests. We love the specific requests, but just so you know, mm -hmm. that's what the two of us are going to be praying. It's for the will of God for that's your it. life. Okay? That's, um, it. that's on our website. So feel free to fill that out and let us know um, how we can be partnering with you in prayer. Or if you just need to message us about something that we've said that you need further explanation on, you'd love more scriptures on, you'd yeah. love to discuss or have clarity on, we're here for that too. We're all growing together. So Thank you so much to our listeners. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments where you're coming at us from. And shout out to Stephanie and Mary Ellen. We see you, ladies. We see you tonight. Hello. Hi, Hello. ladies. Hello. Happy, happy Thanksgiving week. Happy Thanksgiving mm -hmm. week, everyone. So, ooh, last week, y'all. Last week, last week was Ooh, fire, 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 fire. If you fire. know, you know. If you know, you know. When we say that fire in threes, <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> um, last week was true fire, fire, fire. We were blessed with two yeah. special guests in the studio, Aaron Harrigan. And prophetess T. Lynn Tate. When okay. if they first, first of all, if you have not seen last week's episode, I don't even know what to tell you. Don't log off right now, but I assure you that when we are done, honey, right, you need to hit that YouTube or go back to the Facebook page. The videos are still there. And next week, I'm telling you, go back and see last week. It's gonna bless you. Now you know you're off at least for one or two days this week. I know you are. Right. Most people are okay. Go back and catch it if you have not seen it. Watch it from the beginning because that's really how it's gonna make sense, okay. And when I tell you it's gonna bless your socks, even if you're barefoot, <laughs> bless them clean off. That's what they're gonna do. So, oh. yes, it's on it's on Facebook, it's on YouTube for right now, along with every other episode we've done. So far, since God told us to start on this journey, y'all. Yes. Because this is season four. So welcome Woo. to episode five of season four tonight. And we are so excited. We have a great topic that we're going to discuss. Hopefully you'll join us in the comments because this one, we're going to love to hear your feedback. So we're going to love to hear your feedback. So um, we are being joined tonight. I'm just going to go ahead. Woo. 
excuse me, enjoy tonight. But our producer, she's gonna be in studio with us tonight, y'all. Hey, girl, Amazing. hey. Danielle Davis is joining us tonight from the background. Normally, you don't see this amazing woman of God, and we can call her that because she's family, but she really is an amazing is. woman of God, y'all. Isn't she an amazing woman of God? I just love to see how she is thriving and growing and up in here. I mean, think you want to like share she said, with she's been hanging around us too much. Didn't she just say that before we went live? I've been hanging around y'all, and I was like, you're welcome. You're welcome. I figured, I figured I would grace my presence, you know. Oh, oh, I, see I, know. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. So yes, I have definitely have hanging been hanging around you guys too long. But I bring the funny and I bring sometimes, you know, the the sensible side to to these two because they, they are hilarious um on and off screen. Just know that. So well, yeah. we appreciate you, and I am so gr I am so grateful Aww. for you Aww. as my little sister. You yeah. know, although you are a grown, beautiful woman, a grown, beautiful woman, okay. But you know, Nia, she will always be my baby. You know, okay. I don't care if she be good, grown, married with fifteen mm -hmm. children. I don't care. This is still always be little sis. My oh, baby, goodness. you hear me? We will still be fighting in these streets for my baby. Do you hear me? All day, all day. Don't let don't let the holiness fool y'all. Okay, we come we on. Don't mess about our family. Just we know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. man of God. Okay. Yeah. What's oh. up, my man of God? Love That's you. The Thank you for the support God. all day, all day. So we are excited, y'all. We are excited for tonight. So this week. Um, the country, I won't say the world, because I don't think the whole world celebrates Thanksgiving. No, no. But this country, mm -hmm. this is typically Thanksgiving week. Mm -hmm. And so it's normally, normally November 1st, the first thing you hear out of people's mouths is, oh, I'm so thankful. Oh, I'm so grateful. And, mm -hmm. uh, and real talk, same mouths that just celebrated Halloween less than 24 hours early, but we won't go there tonight. We'll, we won't go there. Ooh, I'm glad I got my church band out. I, um, hey, that's my purple. I will be, I will be <laughs> sipping tonight. Mm -hmm. But I digress. <laughs> I digress. Preach the I'm word, saying. woman of God. Preach the word, okay? I'm just saying. How you going to worship the devil the night before and then flip it in the morning and be like, God, I thank you. I mean, but... But did we not, when we was back out in the world, we flip did. it at night no. and in the morning say, God, hey, I think. No judgment. I'm just I'm just saying we are. Whew. I know a many a Saturday nights yeah. and a and many but, a Sunday mornings. But was right up in church. That I, I'm, I'm, grateful, I'm grateful for the grace of the Saturday night that to the part. Sunday morning. Okay? Because yeah. it was a turn up to a God, I thank you. Okay. I mean, am I the only one? I might be the only one out here in the end no, of the world. No, is there one? Night. There's more than one. Is there that's one? Sunday. There's always more than one. I mean, it's okay. If I'm one. out here by myself, y'all leave me. It's okay. It's okay. No, mm -hmm. never ever. So not at all. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hey. Hi. Um, so so tonight topic, y'all, like I was saying. So a lot, a lot of times it's the, um, this month is typically the month known as the gratitude month, right? Mm -hmm. The thankful month to, to always spend time focusing on what we're thankful for. So right. we wanted tonight to just have a beautiful conversation about being grateful for grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things we could be thankful for. My God. And we are. We have an and app. We, we have so an app right? of gratitude. I so mean. But tonight, we want to just focus on grace. Mm. Um, we're specifically talking about the grace of God. Right. God's grace. Right. Um, and how grateful we are for that. So, mm. y'all ready? We're going to just jump in. Yeah. yeah. Jump in. All right. What we got? We have the definition first. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if this is the Webster de definition, but we're going to call this the Tania definition. It is not. Once again, <laughs> it's the definition. Oh, my God. 
definition <laughs> God gave me. It's the definition mm-hmm. He gave me. Okay. So I'll share it with the listeners. Right. I mean, so, I mean, put it in the comments. Being grateful for grace is an ongoing showing of appreciation for God's free gift, which is his undeserved favor. That's real. Hmm. An ongoing showing, hmm. right? Continual. Not mm-hmm. just the month of November. Come on. But every day, all day. An ongoing showing of appreciation for God's free gift, which is his undeserved favor mm-hmm. in our lives. That's good. Okay. That's being grateful for that grace. That sums it up. That That's a real good summary right there. Undeserved. I mean, well said. Mm-hmm. And if well any of our listeners it. have any different other definitions that they have, make sure to put them in the chat too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So we um in addition to that definition, mm-hmm. of course we have a scripture because y'all know we love the word of God mm-hmm. on here. I mean, because you know, you know, Tania got to have the scriptures, y'all. He can hey. have some translations. Okay. I mean, we really relevant with the word. That's where we at. We real and relevant with the word. So mm-hmm. the scripture is First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Be cheerful no matter what. Mm. Pray all the time. Mm. Thank mm. God no matter what happens. Yeah. This is the way God wants you who belong to Christ Jesus to live. That's good. And focusing in on that, thank God, no matter what happens. Be Good or bad. Pray all the time and thank and God, pray. no matter what happens. And be cheerful, no matter what. That's it. Because I don't always yeah, roll with that message it, translation. I don't always roll with that message translation. I mean, this, one was, this one was so, like, it was just perfect. Right. Like, this is what we need to be doing. All the time. This is it. That's a good heart posture, honestly. It's a good approach for life, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. not easy to do, though. But uh, no. <gasps> no. We'll get into that. We'll get into that later. No. That, <laughs> that, that be cheerful all the time. I mean, that be cheerful no matter what. Come on. <sighs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm still working on that one. I'm still working on that one. Mm. Be cheerful, like no matter what, like no matter what, like all I mean, these double hockey sticks could be breaking loose around me, and I'm supposed to be cheerful no matter what. This just the in that in that translation where they put the punctuation. I always look at punctuations in mm. scripture translations, right? Mm. Because I feel like where they're putting the breaks, the pauses, is so right. relevant, right? Right. It is. It mm. is. It, mm-hmm. Because it wants us to pause and dwell on it. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Be cheerful no matter what. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Pray all the time. Hmm. <laughs> Thank God no matter what happens. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of balls. There's it's a lot of balls. Of, it's a lot of pearl clutching, is what it is. <laughs> The clutch is clutching on that scripture. It's just like, mm. oh my God, this is Ooh. the way that God wants you to belong. Okay. So, and then there was one more, I think. Mm. Our amazing two producer. more, honey. You gave three scriptures. We might as well read them all. We're yeah. going to get to that third one in a little bit. Not yet. Right. We're going to get to that third one. Oh, you want us to wait? Because you and I, you and I love Tania that translation. Girl. It's the TPT one. Oh, it's, it's the Tania translation. It's the Tania translation. Not, don't y'all believe these? Don't y'all believe these women tonight? <laughs> that is not what that mess stands for. It is the <laughs> passion <laughs> translation. That's the Tania translation. I'm telling y'all, she has her own Bible. If y'all didn't know, I'm serious. It's in books. <laughs> right did. along with her book, her journal. It's the truth. Listen. <laughs> And if I did, my scriptures would be like, and for real though, this is what happened. <laughs> I hope that there would be pictures, you know, instead oh, of maps in the back. I want, I want pictures. Oh, exactly. I'll be completely illustrated. I want all the details. <laughs> <laughs> 
2 Corinthians 4 and 15, New Living Translation. I think that's what NLT stands for. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, mm -hmm. there will be great thanksgiving. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. in the same sentence. And, oh, and, and God will receive more and more glory. My goodness. Mm -hmm. So as God. Very grace, fitting for this week. I mean, she yeah. over here. Where does she? She is digging. She is. Let me tell you, the scripture mm -hmm. scavenger hunter of her of it all. <laughs> no. To find the when topic of the you, show and the holiday of the week in the same scripture. Oh same God! Scripture. Oh God! I take no credit for it. I mean, Real talk. None. I take mm -hmm. none. He gives me. He tells me where to look, and mm -hmm. that's where I go. He tells me well, what to search for. Danielle, in the we have a family scavenger I hunt. I, I'm going to. Tania is going to be on our team. Okay. Yeah. Like, we're calling. You know. Very much. They will nothing be against there. our other biologicals, but just so you know, we pretty much have narrowed down the team of the <laughs> who's on the team. Yeah. I mean, you can't just have anybody on your team now. You know, no. we are very competitive. Oh, very we important. Are. It's, yes. It's a family trait. We are. So. <laughs> So if you have any of, our, any of our listeners watching tonight, whether you live or you're going to end up watching this on replay, mm -hmm. we still see your comments, by the way. So you can still comment away. But if you have a favorite grace scripture, let mm -hmm. us know. We'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments because there are there's a lot of beautiful scriptures on grace. Clearly, God felt it was important for that to be um, a constant need for us to rem remind ourselves of his grace in our lives mm -hmm. and the importance of it, right? So let's get into some questions, y'all. Who's mm -hmm. got the questions? Danielle, you want to ask a question? You got a question? She well, did. I also want to say that there is, um, God speaks to each one of us a little bit differently. And so I know in the past um, episodes, we haven't always talked about the different media um, and the different songs, but that when, if you want to go ahead and talk about that, um, how God just speaks to us through, mm -hmm. through praise and worship and songs. And so we have a plethora mm -hmm. of, <laughs> of media um, to give you guys today. And we will definitely yeah. make sure to put that in the comment section for you. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be throughout the entire um, show. So just make sure that you check those out. Um, I just wanted to put that that plug in there before. We that, I mean, you spot started. on. Tonight, y'all yes. are getting a grace playlist, which, you know, <laughs> I mean, you're going to get a grace worship service. I mean, it's what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, honey, just add to your, it's, seriously, just call it a grace playlist. Add it to whatever medium you choose, whatever platform you choose to use. Save these songs as um, Danielle's putting them in the comments because they're going to bless you. And there's going to be times when you want to go back and pull on something to encourage you. And so mm -hmm. they all are from different times and seasons and genres sure. and let me tell you but you they're all gonna bless you in some way for sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. truly and and there's a little there's a little old and traditional and then there's some new in there like it's just it's, a song, it it's a song for everybody oh it's, it's a, a great board, just like thanksgiving it's a smorgasbord that's listen enjoy the grace playlist add it to your tunes just marinate on the words, okay? <laughs> Let the lyrics bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen. So, mm -hmm. yeah, talk about talk about the number that's associated with tonight's topic. Yes, right. Share that. Yeah. So, most people may not know, right? That we like to really do research. You know, we, we're not just pretty faces or theologians. You know what I mean? We're funny and we're hilarious, but we also <laughs> are in tune with and aligned with God. And the number five mm -hmm. represents grace. And so, when God had given Tania the topic of the show um, the day before, there was already some things that God was saying to me, and there was some challenges that were happening and I, I I will not be disclosing them tonight's episode, but it was some challenges that was happening. And mm -hmm. um and I communicated 
to uh, the parties involved about the level of God's grace. And um, I just sat in that for a minute. And then literally the next day, Tania hit us in the little in our listen chat about the topic that God um, had given her because we thought we were going to be talking about gratitude, right? It's the week of Thanksgiving. So we kind of knew we were going along that. But last week yeah. we had no finite decision on what today's topic was going to be. Just so y'all know, we flow with the spirit of God. It's what like God says is, is this, this is, is his platform. And so we had no idea last week what today, tonight's topic was going to be when we logged off of last week's episode. And so we just assumed, OK, we're going to talk about gratitude since it's Thanksgiving week. And um, sure enough, I'm dealing with grace and, and those parties involved on uh, last. Uh, what was it? Last Friday and then last <laughs> Saturday, here comes uh, Tania popping up with, wait a minute, God has said, let's talk about the gratitude of gratefulness of grace. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking at this like I already know, like when I tell you in alignment, in alignment. And so to know that grace, the number five represents grace and to know mm -hmm. that this is our fifth episode it was like God had already orchestrated the topic before we had even discussed and before anything had oh, even transpired. So amazing. And I was I was in that state of repentance, full transparency. God and I was having a moment and he said, go to your YouTube, pull up that song on grace. And I was like, the only song that first came to my mind was Jonathan Sigmund Reynolds. And I pulled it up and God yeah. said, look in your YouTube notifications. And y'all, I kid you not, I sent y'all the screenshot. It literally told me that I had 555 YouTube <laughs> notifications that I had not checked. Yes. And y'all, when I'm sitting there bawling at the laptop, because this is a song on grace and grace is the meaning of five is grace. And I have 555 notifications in my YouTube, which is triple grace. Cause honey, I needed all the graces I could get at that moment. And I just sent the text yes. to the ladies like, oh. <laughs> all the crying emojis. Yes. Oh my God. So I hope that that blesses you to know that we just don't hop on here week after week that is orchestrated and inched and that God is truly in this. And he literally divinely orchestrates everything we do when it comes to this. I hope that right. Daniel, if you're able to put the meaning so they can see, it's pretty lengthy, but read it of God's grace and his goodness and his favor, faithfulness. That's what the number five means, right? Um, according to um, biblestudy.com and there's 345 mm -hmm. times in scripture of mm -hmm. how that five is represented and how it represents grace, right? And how it produces it. grace according to, um, look at that, grace upon grace upon grace upon grace, John 1, 16. So mm -hmm. that's how we got here, y'all. The fifth hence, episode. Hence that same scripture that I said we will talk about later. That's the beauty of that. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't even realize you had that in our notes. Until after I typed it in the notes and God said, now look back. He was like, now scroll back up top and see what Wynn put in. And I was like, oh, she put the scripture in. And we had <laughs> never even like, communicated. This is why y'all, we, we, we had, I'm in Maryland, she's yeah. in Texas. We're not communicating. We are sharing one mm -hmm. Google Doc and God is downloading two different times the same thing. When I tell y'all, y'all get in alignment with people that God has to walk alongside y'all in life, you don't even need to be on the same planet or in the same coast. I'm telling you. <laughs> nope. Not even in the same time zone. At all. Not but even. right on time. But always right on time. Mm, yes. James 4, yes, 5, yeah. 6. Yes. Yes. And hey, my sister. Hey. Hey, and we have others that have joined us tonight. Hello, yes. Darlene yes. Johnson. Hey, Darlene. Hey, mm -hmm. good evening. Thanks for joining us. Look at this. Oh, it's going to be a whole mm -hmm. oh, good conversation tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Stephanie. Happy blessed birthday to the granddaughter that turned five. Look at this five. 
Look at this right. What? Stephanie Ooh. from the West Coast, Ooh. your granddaughter extra, turned extra five. Credit if yeah. her name is Grace. Like extra credit, like seriously, I will show you a list of your granddaughter is as named Grace, and she she listens. So, yeah, definitely so beautiful, so beautiful. So oh my God, yeah, y'all. So yeah, keep the comments coming. We love to see them <laughs> tonight. We just talking about being grateful for mm -hmm. grace mm -hmm. and God's grace. Mm -hmm. wow. So, yeah, that whole number five thing. Yes. Ooh, okay. Yes. So, hmm. where's our first question, Danielle? What is question? discussion question? The first it's one. Is, it's okay. I got y'all tonight. <laughs> so, where are we? Well, where are? What are you grateful for? Um, with God's grace in your life, this is our first hmm. discussion. Talk. What are we grateful for? What are what? you grateful for? God's grace in your life. Mm. Honey. Mm. First we, of all, we'd have this been supposed a long to be, this, this supposed to be less than a two-hour episode. When you ask him, where are you <laughs> grateful for God's grace in your life? Everywhere. Mm. And we is, is everywhere a fair answer? No, no, I won't take that. Uh, you gotta I mean, be, for, it, the record, for the record, for the record, everything. It's the right answer. answer. It's the right answer. Oh, for the she, she just tell me I can't say <laughs> everywhere, everything, <laughs> every, every. But for for the record, <laughs> it's the right answer. Yes, we are grateful yeah, for God's oh, grace. Oh, she wants specifics. Everywhere. I want specific. <laughs> I just. Oh, honey, on the interweb, mm. she wants specifics of God's <laughs> grace in our lives. I would, say, I would say for one me, specific thing. I am grateful okay. for his grace over my stubbornness. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because I'm, I'm a work in progress, right? As we all are. And so this year, this year, I'm throwing myself a full on party come New Year's Eve because I've gotten so much better mm. at responding to God faster when he tells me to do something or tells me not to do something. Come on. But I still haven't perfected that. Like it's still, sometimes it's still a pause. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that that's you. And I may go see for myself. Ha ha, <laughs> man, right? <laughs> okay, purple, but to be fair. Purple cursive on the right on the wall. Crayon. But to be fair, the pause, is it a pause in hesitancy or is it a pause in God co confirm yourself? Because those are different pauses. Th these are the times of the pauses of hesitancy and stubbornness or selfishness or fear or okay. embarrassment of where you're telling me to go pray for that person. But that, I don't I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you you have a word. You gave me a word for this person. I, I don't. Mm -mm. No. Can I? Can I text it to them? Can I? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Sis, I, there is no judgment here on on how can I deliver the words to the person? <sighs> not a not so a not me, a. It's not been a, it's been his grace over mm. my slow to response, those okay. slow to move, those slow to obedience moments in my life. Hmm. That's my that's my one. If you want to give him one, it's one, one. one. All right, just one. All right, mm -hmm. when you're up, um, I am grateful for God's grace in the same area that He gave me grace in on Friday, um, because it's 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 perpetual, and I'm grateful that He brings it back to me in such a loving way um, that is not judgment there is not um punishment it is just hey i'm i'm bringing this back to you again right um and mm -hmm. and even so with that grace that he's given literally with that particular thing it is 5 years which is also grace this is the year of mm -hmm. grace mm -hmm. okay since mm -hmm. 2018 and God has graced that grace to just say, hey, hey. And I'm just like, I know 
and thank you. <laughs> but okay, that's our sentence. That's that's the, listen. You that's see, that. I'm just shaking my head, right? Like I don't. Wow. 2018 to 2023 is five. Is it not counted wow. up? Yes, it is five. And so on Friday, when I had that moment and I'm texting y'all, this was, this is, this is real life people. (laughs) This is real life. And I'm like, how did you make this grace upon grace upon grace upon grace upon grace? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And we want to hear from from you all watching tonight. You are welcome to even answer that question if you want to share. We promise you, this is a safe space. We don't we don't take your comments and make a reel about it, no. <laughs> or post it on the gram. We don't do that. So you can share. You can answer that same question too. Where have you Where have you been most thankful for and grateful for God's grace in your mm-hmm. life? So. Yeah, Danielle, do you have an answer? Is there an area where you're grateful for God's grace? I am. Um, So especially within the past year, I've been trying to do a lot more quiet time um, and listening because whether, you know, everybody can always complain about stress on their job or things going on in their household and just sometimes just quieting the the noise and focusing on what we, the many things that we have to be grateful for. Um, And, and, uh, you know, thanking God for the grace that he has given all of us. Um, And so I think it's just, you know, sometimes just turning off the TV, you know, listening to music, just being in the, in the peace and the presence. Um, I'm trying to do a better job of, um, but I thank him for the grace, you know, having that, that one-on-one time is so important with God. So, um, mm-hmm. tuning in, into that more, it's, it's like you said, sometimes it's a heart posture, but it, it, it it's a learned behavior. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's something that you have to work That's at. Right. Yeah. So I think that That's would so be my, nice. you know, so much going on around us. And sometimes we just have to mm-hmm. quiet the noise. That's so good. That's that's, that's so the good. truth. That's the truth. And you know what? I know you said one, but okay. I'm gonna give one more. I'm come gonna on, one get it. Come, come, come on, because the three of us were just really beautifully spiritual just now, and that was great. But I'm gonna give a real, a real one, a real and relevant one. Come on. Okay. I am yeah. grateful for God's grace over my tongue. Child, grandma Sarah tongue. Mm. Yeah, well, we all have a little bit of that. And to piggyback on that, Tania. If every I, if every listener watching tonight is real with themselves, we all we all got a little bit. We can all be grateful for God's grace over mm. our mouths. Mm. That was our Bible study topic last night, where we talked about letting what comes out of our mouths glorify God. And if not, hush it up. Okay. Yeah. I would also say that the three of us, I'm gonna put all of us in this one bucket. Okay. Have a have a uh Briscoe control uh control <laughs> tower. Uh and so I th- I can honestly say the three of us have done better. God mm-hmm. has given us grace in 2023, honey. About mm-hmm. uh, us having to take the reins on certain things and when, yes. and knowing when to step back hey. and just let things happen and not control them. Listen, I have I have climbed down from the Ooh. control tower of the Air Force in which we used to serve. OK, hey. listen, I'm on the ground. I can honestly say I can look back in the last three years when God told us. Remember that? Last, he said. Stop, yeah. did he not? Right? Yeah, yes. And so conscious with intentionality of letting go of that control, knowing that that was a generational, mm-hmm. if nobody knows, let me tell you, honey. Yeah. That All thing was a generational it. spirit. And I was like, God, remove that from me. If I don't, I want zero control and I want full surrenderance to you, God. Take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine, mine, mm-hmm. 
my 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 control tower, I burned it up at his feet. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's real because it, it had become an altar, and I was mm. like, mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. and no. it gets you nowhere. I mean, honestly, nowhere, nowhere. nowhere. It's a false sense of control because truly, because you control nothing. Knows what? We don't control what? nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and I'm loving these comments. Are y'all yes. seeing these comments? Ah, oh. yes, yes, Tia, yes. Oh. Okay, what you're not going to do is make me cry and mess up my makeup tonight. That's what you're oh. not going to do, my sister. Yes. Happy belated, right? Mm-hmm. We got another one coming in. Oh my God. Yes, mm-hmm. yes Steph. Oh, good. All of these mm-hmm. are so, so good. So beautiful, y'all. So yes. beautiful. That Thank was so good. Steph was with us yesterday in Bible study. And I was like, I love it that we got the East Coast and the West Coast in Bible study together. And Steph, remember, we talked, honey, didn't we not talk about the glorifying of God? I mean, Steph, I'm hoping that we can make it through the weekend. Okay, Ooh. let's hope. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, I would say, I would say, I love that we are being real for a second, real and relevant as we have mm-hmm. always promised to be. And yeah. the areas of spiritual are important and they're great, but it's also to the natural things of, okay, God, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm grateful for the grace that you put over my tongue. Um, mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're grateful for the grace when we eat what we're not supposed to be eating and drink what we're not supposed to be drinking, but still God gives exactly. us grace over the grace because we pray grace over things we, we shouldn't even be praying grace over, but you we're going to sanctify it. We're going to grace the grace Ooh. over what we shouldn't even been gracing. So I'm not supposed to pray over the alcohol? I mean, I pray over everything. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. I do too. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a sip on that. I graced over everything. Pray over everything. We pray God, over I'm everything. asking for your grace over everything. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> over it all. So, mm. <laughs> So speaking of that grace upon grace, Danielle put that lovely third scripture in there, right? That John 1 16 in the passion translation. In the Tania translation. Mm-hmm. Tania translation. Mm-hmm. What she had really meant to say was the Tania translation. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It she reads, don't want to admit it, it's okay. <laughs> it reads, and from the overflow of his fullness, we receive grace heat upon mm. more grace. Come on, grace. What is a heat grace. though? What is a I heat? heat? A heat, an overflow, a heat. Oh, yeah. Come on. More, more than you can more than you can carry. Yeah. Yes. Grace upon grace, upon grace, grace upon grace. grace. Come on. The grace, grace upon grace. grace. So if yes. you oh if you God. know me or you're getting to know me and you ever hear me just say grace, grace, God. Mm. That's me. That's me declaring that scripture right there over whatever moment in my life I'm in where I need a double portion of God's grace. Mm, or that's I keep, where I'm just like, grace, grace, God. Grace, grace. <laughs> I have a real good friend who always used to say at church, EGN, and I would be like, what? And she would be like, that's extra grace needed. And it would be when it's a difficult person, right? And so she would be like, when? Mm-mm-mm. EGN, EGN. <laughs> and I would know. Oh, you're right. Let me check my let me check my posture. You know what? You're right. You're right. Let me get this person some extra grace. So that that right there. Yeah. That needs so, to be on a shirt. Yeah, I was just thinking that. We, we need to <laughs> we need to start using oh. that. Oh, oh yes. Oh, look at that. Prayers yes. at 5 a.m. about grace. Oh. And he added mercy. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Darlene, thank you for not leaving me out there alone. Thank you. Oh my God. I knew, I knew as, a, as a pastor said, they had to at least be one. Thank they you, one. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Sometimes sending that, sending that text, making that call. Yes. So hard. So oh hard sometimes. Who wants to deliver the message? And then you're looking crazy. You feeling crazy, but you know what? You're obedient. Just do what God called you to do. You can't. You can't rely on your emotions, right? We no. just gotta trust that we are 
hearing God and being in his will. And we got to do it, honestly. Right. Back right. to that obedience like last That's week. It. Isn't that the truth? So, mm -hmm. so for everybody, if you haven't yet listened to last I had the privilege of mm -hmm. watching the first four episodes of this season. Ooh, they came out swinging, y'all. They were not random topics. It was oh, no. all God ordained and they're all beautifully blending together. Mm. Yes. So take the time. You could be binge watching anything this week. And trust me, I get it. Netflix is offering plenty of stuff to binge. Everybody's offering plenty of stuff. But feed your soul. Yeah. While you resting this week, while you feed in the body, feed the soul, go back, watch. If, if you don't have time to get back in the seasons one through three, okay. But this season, we've got four episodes already. They are all beautifully lining up right to tonight. Yeah. And they're all so important. Would you agree, ladies? Yeah. Absolutely. And they're on YouTube and on the Facebook. So no matter what platform mm -hmm. that you prefer, Go back and watch all four. Um, it just it just ties in because mm -hmm. I mean I, I can tell you to her statement. Listen, there's plenty of messages that God has had me deliver that I mortifiably had to do it. That's the best word I can use. Where I felt like I did not want to send a send an email, a text, a call. Listen, it's none of my business and whatever is going on between those people and God is on them. And God is like, send the message. And I'm like, can I just tap out, please? Please. Right. right. But that's what obedience comes in. People need it. We got to we got to be on our post. So, yeah. Mm. Yes, and we see you, Rebecca. Mm. We see you, Rebecca. Yes. That's hey. grateful. grateful for God's revelation and the Holy Spirit inside of us. Well, you better mm. preach. That's we it. Love it. Yes. I love it. Yes. As we as we all love to call it that Jesus medicine. And you want me taking my Jesus medicine. <laughs> Honey, we don't you want you will to catch me in house. these streets without. <laughs> That Holy Spirit inside of me. I'm going to tell y'all that Ooh, right now. We don't. We don't. We don't. So good. My God. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so well, the we next have, question you got yes. is, is there a limit to God's grace? And how mm. much grace can we ask God for? And she said, mm. John 1, 16. Listen, we are, I think we have already covered that. Mm -hmm. Of how much grace, grace upon grace. Honestly, I don't even know if enough grace is enough grace is enough grace. Mm -hmm. but, and and I don't even know that we're asking for grace. I, I'm just grateful that God is blessing us with grace, that he's gracing us with grace. Right. Right. It's a I think that goes back to the definition he gave me. Mm -hmm. I think he called it a free gift, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it is there. It is there for us. Um, we just have to rest in it. It's there. We, we just have to understand it. that grace is, you know, given to us, but we don't want to take it for granted. No. Mm -hmm. no. no, we do not. You know, understanding. It's not, it's not, it's not ever, it's not eternal. You're right. No, mm -hmm. no, because there is a difference between grace and mercy. Those are two very different things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, speak on it. Okay. Fair. So, you know, the grace there, he talks about morning by morning, right? There's new mercies I see. Okay. I don't know that you see new graces. He said he sees you see new mercies. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. if we're going to get the word right, we're going to get the word right. But it's new mercies mm -hmm. I see. Okay. But there right. is a difference between grace and mercy. You want them both. Trust. You want them both. Mm -hmm. We need them both. We need both of them. Oh my God, we need both of them. Um, but yeah, there, there's a, there's clearly an end mm. to God's grace. Listen, um, which when the I grace don't ever want to be. I don't ever want to be at the end Ooh. of God's grace um, mm -hmm. again, because I've been there before. Yes, don't ever want to be there again. The mm. Worst, worst, loneliest. Listen. Lonely isn't even a word. I can't even describe how it felt to be at the end of his grace, to not 
to not literally feel his mm. grace over my life because mm. he told me to make a choice and I chose the wrong. I made the wrong choice. Ma'am. Mm. Okay. Ma'am, I'm going to tell you to your next question. When has there been a time in our lives when we were on extended grace that you are you are speaking to it where mm. I knew I knew. There was a time when God said, you should have been up out of this thing six months to eight months ago. When I tell you the extended grace. I second that. Mm -hmm. And I third it. <laughs> Did you try it? Going all around. She triced it. She triced it. I, that extended grace. Let me tell you. And, and when it ran out, it ran out July 2018 which was five years ago. He gave, it was a crossroads, literally. Uh, it wasn't even a crossroads. It, it was literally, your the grace has run out. Make a choice that I hope you make is correct. And I so fully surrendered at that moment and told God, I want to live. Because there really wasn't another option. It was either surrender and be obedient or he was taking me up out of here. July, 2018, five years ago, I am grateful for grace. I am alive and on these interwebs with you right now. Okay. Yeah. It could have been another way. Same. Yeah. Same. And Same. there are times where we can ask God for more grace. If, I mean, I can only speak for myself. There, you know, was a particular time where you, you, you know, other people are saying, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? What, you know, and it's like, if I'm going to do something, I want to make sure it's right. I want to make sure this is the way that God is having me to go and all the naysayers or, you know, what, whatever is mm -hmm. like, no, God's grace has, ex has allowed me to do X, Y, Z. And, you know, I believe, and I ask God to extend the grace until he has for me, whatever mm -hmm. move, whatever transition, whatever pivot, whatever mm -hmm. I'm supposed to leave in one season and, you know, and, and come into the next season. So, you know, sometimes you can ask God for an extended grace as long as it's in his will. Um, but having to, you know, understand that it's not just what we want and God's going to grant it. No, we have to, you mm -hmm. have to continuously ask for grace if it's something that, you know, it's kind of out of our control. Too, so I mean that's when Hezekiah, right? When when the prophet delivered the message that it was time for him to die, right? His time was up, and he said he didn't even he, he's done talking to the prophet. He turned his face to the wall, <clears throat> right? I'm, he, I'm not he even straight to God with his conversation. I'm right. not talking to either of you anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. the conversation is done. He's talking <laughs> right. to the wall. <laughs> he says to God as he talks to the wall. Right. Have I not? Did I no. not? See, this is the receipts that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Right. Yeah. But you got to be in that. But you have had to have had receipts. You have had. Right. When you ask for extended grace, is it in God's will? Are there receipts? Right. Is there proof? Is there evidence that you were doing God's will and in God's will? Because it's one thing to be in his will and it's another thing to be out of his will. Mm -hmm. Right. OK, so he turned his face to the wall to ask God for more grace. And God gave him more years on the earth. Mm -hmm. He granted him. Right. Even though he had God had already sent the prophet to be the messenger to say, hey, get your affairs in order. You've been to die. Right. Right. And at and that time, he said, him with more years. It, let me let me talk to God directly for myself for a moment. OK, let me let me holler back at you one-on-one -on -one. let's let's talk about this right because sometimes we not, may not be strong enough spiritually physically whatever you know to do to actually make those moves or you know mm -hmm. do whatever he told us to do and being mm -hmm. obedient sometimes yes, yes. and I, I can just speak from experience i know you ladies can too but um you know just just know that it's not always we, we got to ask for grace sometimes just honey, just a little yes. bit. Grace extensions. Can we mm -hmm. see grace extensions? And, and he will and God will give them. But I will tell you that just like Tania said, 
it's not an infinite amount of time. Right. So we don't want to mislead you on here tonight, y'all, to think that grace has a continual punt. No, grace has a, a time frame, a, a window. There is a limit on grace. And when the grace runs out. Oh. Okay. Don't be don't, don't be caught right. on that side. Don't be yeah. caught on that. I'm just it's don't very it's, it's very real. We would do you an injustice tonight mm. to talk about the gratitude of grace and not talk about what happens when the grace runs out. Mm -hmm. mm. You want to know what happens when grace runs out? Honey. When grace runs out, you come you come this close to losing your life. You come this close. I don't know if y'all can see my my like how close you come this close. Yeah. I was to meeting, to meeting our maker. That's how yeah. close you come. I tell you what. Because there's nothing but God's grace that's keeping all of us on this earth from day to day anyway. For real. Yeah. Period. Even even the breath we breathe every second is by his grace, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything. And that's what happens. That's what happens when his grace runs out. When he's like, I didn't have enough. I didn't yes. have enough. I've waited. You've asked me to wait, but now you're taking advantage. You're trying to take advantage of a sovereign God mm. who, who is playing chess while we playing checkers with his grace. He's playing chess. He's moving people around, positioning, setting them up for our obedience. And he's mm -hmm. like, this one over here waiting, somebody yes. Yes. 5,000 miles away is like, yes. I, wish, I wish this person would get their affairs in order. I don't know who it is I'm waiting for, but I need them to get their lives together. Listen, right? listen, I'm waiting on this. The ripple effect of our disobedience, our delayed obedience, our hindrance obedience, our personal preference obedience, whatever you want to call it, stop dressing <laughs> up your disobedience, okay? Because mm -hmm. you asking for grace, but you you in delayed obedience. Right. Right. Right? Right. And mm -hmm. God knows our yeah. heart posture, right? Man looks at the outward, God looks at the heart. So like Danielle said, when we're asking God for grace extension, mm. I know the first thing God's going to do is look at our heart posture and be like, okay, are you asking this just because you don't want to do it? Or are you, are you sincerely struggling mm. in the area that I'm trying to grow you in? Are you sincerely, because there's some things there that, that you need to give to me that we need to work out together, right? The fear, the um, unworthiness, whatever it is. And God is like, I see those things and I, you're right. I'm going to extend you. I'm going to extend the grace while we get you some healing <laughs> for yes. those areas. So then you can still do my will when it's all said and done. Oh, yeah. Um, versus, versus, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to start clubbing, stop clubbing. I'm not ready to start partying. Like, I'm still living my best life out here. So can I just get a grace extension just a little bit longer? Like, Honey, mm -hmm. listen, that line is blanket. <laughs> that's wrapped around us, that we want to uh, feel like we're comfortable in this specific area, right? We don't mm -hmm. want to make the shift. And God has already said, honey, the season has shifted. And you like, but I love it here, God. I love it here. Mm -hmm. All right. Am I, am I talking to myself on the internet? No. Okay, no, I, told him, I told him. I told him I loved it here. I said Ooh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Him. I loved it. Him. And I loved it here. And God was like, "Are you gonna have him, or are you gonna have me?" I and I made here. the wrong choice. And when I tell you, I felt the grace of God leave my life. Jesus. felt it like it was a physical tangible like just like all the air had been sucked out of the room I was in at the time mm. the moment I didn't even verbalize I choose him it was Ooh. in here I said I choose him and it was an yeah. immediate just whoosh. girl 
Girl, and how when, many I, times, when I tell y'all, I don't ever want to be in that position again. It's, it's amazing to me as women, and I'm going to just say this, women of God, women who was born and raised, or at least mm-hmm. raised in church, mm-hmm. how many times we've chosen the hymns over the hymn? Mm. And I mean, knew I'm better. Asking, and knew better. But does it know? But does it not go back to the garden? Mm. I don't know. Listen, I cannot put everything on Eve and Adam. I cannot. No, I but, I'm, say, but, but I'm saying. But I'm saying they were the first. They were the first mm. human beings God created, and He I, okay. did choose. He did choose. There was a choice there, right? There was a choice there. I'm going to acknowledge what happened being. in the garden, but I'm going to be accountable for my actions. Oh, no, and, no, no. I'm not removing any. I, I can't. Me. I can't say you what happened add, in the you garden. You just ask how. No. And I'm just referencing. It's been it's been in our lives for girl Tia 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 Tia. Somebody please be real because I'm not putting the garden out there as a justification. I'm not even mentioning it. I'm not justifying. Where's my tambourine, girl? Justifying. Please don't misunderstand that. I am simply I am simply putting God's word to what you said. Listen, whether Adam and Eve made choices or not. They have nothing to do with the choices in which I had made intentionally or unintentionally. They were intentional. No, no, no. There were no unintentional choices. Did you just say unintentional choices? She did. You but I get, get what she, I get what she meant. Unin- no, 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 no. Did you make unintentional choices? Because now I got questions. Are these unintentional? <sighs> Danielle, have you ever made an unintentional choice? <sighs> you know, when you're in the heat, the heat of things, <laughs> and man, sometimes man, when I'm, I'm going to you, camp. when you do not seek God's answers in that moment you are making blind choices with uh, unintentional choices if you're, you're not intent- in the space mm-hmm. to, to ask for god for god's direction but are you intentionally not asking for questions well, not that's asking a whole another question that then, then i think the whole- only, i think the only i think the only people that can say unintentional right are those that don't know god at all like they have no knowledge of him at all to even know but those right. of us that know those, those of us, us that know yeah I, I can't say that those of us that know can ever say we made unintentional <laughs> well, we, Rebecca I mean we all asking questions now we all <laughs> we haven't even got to ask questions yet that's a great segue. I got questions. Ah, but we, okay. Wait, we got a listener that says so, Michelle says some are generational, so you may not even think. Hey, okay, Michelle. Hey, they that is true. Been passed down. Oh, bad choices. The lack mm-hmm. of taking the part. But but we know, right? As being raised in, with families of Christ followers, the decisions that we consciously, intentionally made as women of God were conscious and intentional choices. I think we can be accountable to say that tonight, right? So yes. Yes. the the extended grace in which we sought, mm-hmm. okay? Or didn't where, <clears throat> Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Still led to our poor decisions and God granting us grace. Mm. Then that turned into mercy. Mm. Thank you. See? Then that when we intentionally sin, come on. Then that's mercy. That's the mercy blanket that's then coming on. God is like, now, now you got me switching blankets. Now I got to switch blankets on you because we before were I had you wrapped in grace. Come but on. But now I got snatched that grace off, and now so that I don't take you up out of here and snatch that breath out your lungs, I need to wrap you in some mercy real quick. My God, that's what that is. That's mercy. We how many times we have chosen as women the hymns over the hymn, mm. and the men for watching. Who's adding men that to their next book? Right? Mm-hmm. Who's adding it to what next book, honey? We, like this, there's a chapter and a book coming. That's on your book. Put that in your book. Put that in your book. 
of Thank how many you. times you have chosen the hymn over the hymn, okay? The lowercase, the lowercase hymn over the capital hymn. I mean, and we will all add a, a maybe a, a good little contribution to your book. Maybe we'll add to your book. We'll write to Nia, we'll, we'll add a little testimony or two to Danielle's book. The oh. hymns over the hymn. Hmm. And, when we, and when you surrender to the hymn, he will send you the, the hymns. hymns. At, come on. Hmm. No, when you come surrender on. to the hymn, that's what I then said. He sends you the your hymn. hymn. I oh, said send you your hymns. hymns. Your. Them hymns. That's it. You got to let me tell you. That's it. But you got to, but God has got to be at that forefront, right? He's no longer, he's not here for the settling on the back burner, honey. Mm -hmm. He's not here for the afterthought. He's not here for you not choosing him first and making him first and keeping him first. No, mm. the keeping part. It's the keeping part. Come mm. on. The keeping is the, that is that is that continual. That's the Come work on. in progress for mm. most of us, right? The keeping. Is that the keeping, the keeping him first in all areas of our lives. That's Ooh. it. That's just like that first Thessalonian scripture. Right. Because some areas, some areas like we talked about already in this season are easy, easy for God to give, give yeah. it over to him on. Like, oh, yeah, I give you that. No problem. You got that guy. You can have all of that side of me. And God's like, but I need that little corner right well, there. That well, little, well, well. that and little. You, and you like, don't touch this. This is, this is, don't. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Like a plate of mac and cheese. I'm like, you have anything on my plate, but don't you touch that mac and cheese. That's, That's Danielle with the potatoes and that and them, them sure. pastas. <laughs> you and your cornbread. Like, you can't Cut. have that. <laughs> you can't have that. Like, wait. Like, and wait. I'm making you some cornbread, FYI. But yeah. Oh, ooh, the blessings of the Lord. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this is last week's episode. Go back and Deuteronomy 28, y'all, talks about the blessings of obedience. When you're out here obedient, listen, you get cornbread when you're in obedience, okay? Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. We all have our own blessings. That that was in the scripture on De Deuteronomy 28 where the Lord said the curses of disobedience is he will shut up your breadboard. Now, now, did I not? Is that not in the word of God? Did I not read that last week in the scripture? The bread <laughs> bowl is going to be shut up when you're in disobedience. Okay? Deuteronomy 28. Go read it for yourself. On that note. On that note. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Okay, well, I got questions. We, we, Ooh. I, I, I'm starting off with I got questions. <sighs> so, ladies, mm -hmm. sisters, why is it sometimes easier to extend grace to others before ourselves? Mm, that's a tough. Ooh. I just want to know. Everybody want to know. You want to know. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that question for the people in the back? Ooh. She just had, hey, wait. <laughs> sure. Y you know, sure. Why? <laughs> Houseway. Houseway. Is it sometimes? See, that would be how my Bible interpretation would read. Houseway. How is it easier to extend grace to others before ourselves? Mm. Even in the chat, if you want to chime in and you put in your your answers, I got I got questions. It's because I really. Honestly, we are taking that thing so well. This is my personal from last week when it hit, it was almost like embarrassment to I can't believe that this is like the, the redundancy of it all to the five to the you know, how did you not catch this? Like, it's just right. And so, I think you are in your own emotions and just trying to process everything. And it's personal. It's different when you're extending grace to somebody else. There's no personal attachment there. Hmm. That's just my opinion. That's good. That's good. I would agree with all of that and add that condemnation is easier for us sometimes than God's grace. Hmm. We are quick to receive that condemnation from the enemy faster than we are to receive God's grace Ooh. over our mistakes. 
and yeah. over our shortcomings. And and I think it's just because the enemy lives right there. He lives right here, like right here. <laughs> he's like right here. And he's quick with it, quick with it. And it's just like the second, it's like, oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Mm. How could you let God down like that? Oh my God, I let you down, Lord. It's that. Right? God's like, nah, it's not like I didn't already know what you were going to do anyway. I already knew what in you were In the first do. place. Like he didn't know in the first place. There are no surprises. There are no surprises to God. So I agree with Stephanie because it's mm-hmm. easier to, because we have eyes that look outward mm-hmm. to see other people and what they're going through. And Ooh, versus looking at in the mirror, like Stephanie is saying, at ourselves, because yeah. we're trained that way, right? We're trained to look at other people's flaws, other people's accolades, especially social media, everything. We're trained to look at everything outward versus right. everything inward. So yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly, Steph. Great. Mm-hmm. So great, Stephanie. And yes, Michelle, mm-hmm. it is easy to believe others are worth sure. Mm-hmm. Before we can believe it for ourselves, it takes mm-hmm. being in his presence to develop that. Yeah. That's sure. the word. That's, That's a, whole a muscle. Word. Yes. yes. That is that is a work in progress. True. My God. So and sometimes that was, it takes that, people y'all. to go through things to actually mm-hmm. understand God's grace. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. do we do we really do we really understand and comprehend God's grace before we go through something? Mm. Well, what another question? She put a question to your question? Right. Because, we, because, I didn't know we were answering with questions. <laughs> what? what? Because as a child, because as a child, we we learned about God's grace, but did we mm-hmm. truly have an understanding of what that thing meant? Mm-mm. No. As as no. Paul said, as Paul said, I once was young, but now I'm old. It's like, okay, no. when we were younger. No. Do we really have an understanding of God's no, grace? No, and because yeah, humanity's grace is very different than God's divine grace, because mm-hmm. even if we were to correlate, our parents are never what we could see as an example of God's divine grace, right? So right. we might have gotten the grace in you know certain situations, but God's grace, it's no, infinite. yeah. Yeah, there, it, it, it extends a lot longer than I can assure you in the households that we grew up with. Uh, God's grace extended a lot further than the households yeah. we grew up we, You yeah. might have got one if you had a grace one, period. One, one and a possible. It wasn't even spades, honey. You got one and maybe a possible. Mm-hmm. I assure you, Ooh. you did not have the grace you thought you had. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I really yeah. didn't understand and grasp his grace for me three years ago. Yes. So speaking on that, what recommendations do you have to our listeners? Mm. Since you guys are walking this journey, we're walking this grace journey also. What recommendations do you have for them to stay in God's Ooh. grace? Who God. Mm. Mm. How both of y'all just go silent at the same time? She, 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 she threw that question on us. Like, we weren't prepared for that. I'm so so first, I, listen, that, this is the shared chromosome in which we have, okay? So sorry that our DNA had to take a pause. That's how serious that thing was. Yeah, that just, that. I mean, it, it just is so fitting, right? Because not mm. everybody flexes that grace muscle because, it, once again, it is, it's, we thank God for the grace. Oh, Rebecca um, said, can you repeat that? See, I mm-hmm. don't even know. So what recommendations do you have to our listeners on, on how to continue to stay in God's grace? What do you do? What, you know, if someone is just tuning into our show and it's like, or like we said, we have people that are just kind of understanding and grasping what God's mm-hmm. grace is. And you all have been walking in this grace journey and we're grateful for the grace. What what things can they do mm. to continue to stay in God's grace? We know the word, right? Mm. The word is first and foremost. What are some other recommendations? 
One thing I would say, God calls us to be his disciples, right? And to be his examples. Right. And to mirror him in the earth, right? So one thing I would say is extend grace as much as you receive grace. Real talk. Mm. Real talk. So the more we practice extending grace to others Mm -hmm. and ourselves, Mm. right? Just like self-forgiveness, that's self-grace. The more we practice that and extending it to other people, Mm. I believe that's one way we have a more understanding and a recognition and an absorption of God's grace over us. Mm. Because then there's nothing hardening my heart from receiving God's grace because I've extended grace out to everybody in my life. Yeah. It's a continuum. I'm continually extending grace, even to the people that cut me off on the highway. I'm like, God bless them in their ignorance. I'm praying Mm -hmm. for you. When there's other words I'd rather be saying. (laughs) (laughs) Right? But it's practicing that Mm -hmm. and working that by extending grace to others, to our loved ones, to to our booze, to our spouses, to the people closest to us, where it's sometimes the hardest to extend grace to is the people that's the closest to you. Mm. Say it. Y'all say better it. say that louder for the people. Say it because say. how I mean they, that's a proven fact where people will say when they meet people, right? When your significant others meet people who you work with or, or that you fellowship with or that you have a communion with. And they're like, boy, I tell you what, it's a whole different person. You're meeting a whole different, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, mm-hmm. you come on the job, you have a you have a holiday party, right? And they're right. like, come on, you're giving grace to the coworkers over the grace that you give to your spouse, right? I mean, this is real. We've very lived real. that. It's very real. So I would say that's one way that the more we mirror God extending grace to yes. us. Right? right. The word of God says, freely you have received, now freely give. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's not just love. I believe that's in all areas. All the things that he freely gives us, that we freely receive from him, we are supposed to also freely give out. Yeah. Mm. It reminds you of the Lord's Prayer. His grace. A lot where mm. the, he's, the Lord's Prayer is continuously telling you, right, where it's the reciprocal. It's the give and receive, give and the receive. And so yes. that's the answer, we think, to that question. But we're not sure, Danielle. But honey, listen. That, that's a that's a on the fly moment without really digging into the word. Um, that's it. But that's just what God gave me just now. You, hey, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm giving it to you. I'm pouring it in. But it's your job to also pour it out. You can't yeah. be stingy with my grace and just mm-hmm. hold it all for you. What was that um that parable Jesus gave, right? Where the man was forgiven of his debts and then he oh, turned right. to his servant and mm-hmm. was like, Hey, you owe me, you owe me some money. And he was like, Well, wait, wait, wait. That Listen. guy just needed you, Grace, but you didn't but he now put his hands on the man. He put his hands. See, y'all, y'all don't know about the Bible. Let me tell you about the Bible yeah. is the reality TV show that you wish you watched. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. The man owed, the man owed money and he went to the person that he owed it to. Right. Right. And the man gave him grace. And then the man, that man turned around and somebody owed him money. Lesser. It said it was a lesser amount. Mm -hmm. And he went and put his hands on the person that owed, roughed him up. (laughs) And when the first person who found out about it, he was like, nah, we finna throw you up in jail. Nah. Nah, because you can't be out here uh, being a hypocrite, okay? And that's what it is, a hypocrite of grace. Come Mm. on. Mm. A hypocrite of grace. That's it. We also have praise him daily and strengthen that muscle of gratitude. Changing the perspective of seeing the glass half empty but half full. That's good. Really and true. Mm. And And it's not that hard. I don't think it's that hard to practice grace. I really, really don't. It's a choice right? and it's a heart posture. It, yeah, it's it definitely is. a heart posture. It is. You have to, it's a win and it takes an awareness. It does. Correct. It does. Um Correct. but not a difficult awareness. You mm-hmm. just have to be willing. But that's with a lot of things, right? Intentionality, choices. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. That's it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah I'm loving to hear, see everybody's comments. Y'all are tonight. Mm. I hope you. that you all are, are grateful for grace. I hope yeah. that this topic tonight has blessed you all live and also on the replay whenever you get to see this, whatever country that you are in. Uh, you know, because we can't just assume that you are here in the United States celebrating mm -hmm. Thanksgiving this week with us right. mm -hmm. uh, on the interwebs. You could be wherever you are. And so just continue to keep the heart posture of gratitude uh, towards God and others, because it should not be just for the month of November. It's this is a daily heart posture. It's a lifestyle, whether you have a gratitude practice, right? Whether you give gratitude, whether you have a journal, whatever you choose to do with extended, extending gratitude, um, honestly, just, just continue to be grateful. Right, right. In all things, right? That going back to that scripture, right? Yeah. Ooh, no matter what, it said no matter what. That, that's it. it that part no matter what the good the um, bad the ugly continue your heart posture yeah. right mm. yeah good. Well, good questions danielle that was great those were good so mm. glad you joined us tonight see see mm. come on sissy that was great <laughs> yeah. been around y'all too long like i said Mm -hmm. Like it's a bad thing. She's been around four this seasons of this, so yeah, definitely we we love. Okay, we can, we can take the credit for three seasons because one season we wrangled it by ourselves, and it was a <laughs> lot. Right, right. Okay, <laughs> that's good, Mary Ellen. Right. Yes, yes. This yeah. is true. Yes, as the church people would say, from the crown of my head to the sole mm -hmm. of my feet. Come on. All of that. All Absolutely. of that. So look, we have. So this week, we recognize, yes, it's Thanksgiving on Thursday. Mm -hmm. But we also want to take a moment for any of our listeners that may be struggling with this week. Right. Um, and just the holiday of missing loved ones or not being able to be near loved ones. If you're like me and all your biological family is in other states. Um, or people that God has transitioned on and called home. Mm -hmm. And it's a difficult season for some, um, especially as we go into even Christmas after this. Right. So just know that you're in our hearts, you're in our prayers, um, and you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're not alone. Don't believe the lies. You're not alone. Um, God is with you and he will especially if you ask him and you're open to it, he will bring you family. He yeah. will bring you new community, right? So right. Um, we just want to put that out there. Danielle is blowing up the chat right now with that mm -hmm. Grace playlist, y'all. Mm. So fire. Those songs. Those songs. So fire. Like, Everybody has you see you see Hezekiah Walker today, right? I, I listen. I love that you went back. I love that you went forward and you went back. You went forward and you went back. And then I love that Danielle just added put on the Trinity. Cherry on the top with her little mm. Trinity five seven. Oh, that that was my song, y'all. Okay. Hmm. Oh, something for yes. everybody in that Grace playlist, y'all. Let us know once you listen to these songs. Reply yeah, what's back. Your favorite? Please yeah. reply back in the comments. Let us know if you had a favorite. Yeah. Because um, we'd love to know. Or if you have a favorite Grace song. Yes, we can oh, add it to the playlist. Link. Yes, Tia. Yes, I forgot about that. Ooh. William oh, Murphy. Same Grace. Grace. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, put the link in the chat yes. to you for sure. If you find it, we, we're gonna yes. make us a little grace playlist from this mm. one comment stream tonight. I mean, I mean, so excited, so mm -hmm. excited, so excited. So, church announcements when we got church Good. announcements, honey. Well, you got your blog. Listen, are y'all out here? Are y'all following Tania's website on these amazing <laughs> blog promotionals that God has given her? <laughs> right, you know, me and God's made up word, my blog promotional. We're going with it. We are going with it on this, the blog devotionals. Okay. Y'all better get on her website and get yourselves encouraged. 
yeah. especially because we have some, you know, time off and this is the season, right? For gratitude mm -hmm. and to, to get yes. a little bit more um, under your belt. This is the time. So definitely check out Tania's yes. blog, Votional. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a blessing. Um, and most okay. of them are on faith because that is one of the ministries God has given to me. Yeah. Um, but that most recent one that I just did was called Faith Lessons I Learned from My Dog. Mm -hmm. Yes, you heard me right. God used, my dog. Dog. From Penny. God used my dog to teach me a lesson. Penelope. We love yeah. Penelope. We love Penny. Shout out to Penny. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes. Oh, yes, Tia, thank you for posting that song link. Yeah. Thank you. Grace Add one. that to the playlist. Um, mm -hmm. So, when your announcements, ma'am. Honey, well, if y'all are not on Bible study with us, y'all are missing it. We are every Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. And let me tell you, some of the ladies that are on here in the comments, join us on Monday nights. We have a great time. It is a different topic every Monday night. So instead of just studying one, uh, instead of studying just one uh, book or one scripture, our Bible study is real and relevant, and each week it's a topic for Bible study. So thank you, Barry Ellen. We love you. You are in Bible study with us. And let me tell you, it is a great time. Um, you, we're learning so much together. You know what I mean? So I thank yeah. you. Shout out for the Bible study love and um, join us. You know what I mean? Oh, look at Steph. <laughs> and I love that she put 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay, Eastern. Honey, she is in California, and she is on time for 7 p.m. Bible <laughs> study Eastern. Okay? Love it. Love I don't it. know what's going on with the East Coast folks that can't get on time, but honey, <laughs> you got the West Coast early. Okay? She three hours behind us. What are we talking we about? We're going to extend the East Coasters some grace. That's what we're going <laughs> to do. We're going to extend them some grace. Mm -hmm. So for the East Coast people, we get on <laughs> at 645 Eastern Standard Time. That'll help you all out. <laughs> so you can be ready for the seven. See, Rebecca, I ain't even say it. I didn't even say it. <laughs> Ooh, Grace, Grace. Grace. Oh, my God. Yes, you pull up at 4 p.m. Cal. Isn't that yes. I mean, faithful? And 5 p.m. to catch us. And 5 p.m. to catch us on Tuesday. So yes. thank you, Stephanie. Love and appreciate you. Come on. We love it. So Bible study is the best. Um, again, open to all the Zoom information is there. And then if you happen to love Christ and business, okay. And if you are in the Maryland area, all right, um, we do have a virtual option that we're going to be sending out to those who are in the mid coast and the west coast, I'm gonna surprise y'all with the virtual yes. link. Yes. But if you are in the state of Maryland and you can get there, you want to be in the building. You know, they say it's almost like church, honey. Okay, it's nothing like the fellowship to be among Christ's followers, and so it's nothing like being in the presence. But if you can't get there personally, you get there virtually. And so our first gathering with the C-Suite for Christ ministry, which is, again, coupling Christ followers who are happen to be in business or uh, love all things business, show up December 6, 5 p.m. Um, it is in Prince George's County in Bowie if you are in the state of Maryland. Uh, and we will send you the link if you are out of the state of Maryland otherwise. So I'm looking forward to oh, that. Great. Mm -hmm. So great. And then also, too, we want to mention um, oh, the, yes. the writer's retreat. Honey. I was going to mention that. That is taking place March 28th mm -hmm. through the 30th of 2024. Right. So right. you have, what is that, four months? Well, you you really, months? here's the kicker, though. Prophetess T, who was on last week, y'all, go back and catch it. Yes, Stephanie, fire, fire, fire. Uh, her early bird. <laughs> Special for registration goes off December 31st. So y'all, right. Danielle is putting that link in the chat I right now. Right now. Yeah. You want to jump on that. And let me tell you, don't, listen, don't be fooled because it's called a writer's retreat. Because really, mm -hmm. it ain't got nothing to do with writing. This is a Holy Ghost conference. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it don't. It don't. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Okay. 
Listen, just because listen. no commas and punctuations were discussed doesn't oh, mean it's still not birthing. You are birthing. You, birthing. Birthing. you want birth. to come, show up, and meet the Lord there. He's already there. Truly. Okay? Truly. If you want an encounter with God, and you happen to be a woman. <laughs> right. Because we're not letting men in. This is the women's function. Okay? Right. You want an encounter with God, and you are a woman. Show up, please register. Please do not let your procrastination, your hesitation, your delayed nation, your worried about provisionation stop None you that. from getting there. If you don't get yourself there, she said that. She did say that. Yeah, okay. she said that. Okay. <laughs> We're adding it to the vocabulary. Uh -huh. Listen, this right. I'm telling you, Tania can't tell you that we didn't see, we didn't meet God up in the upper room. We were in the we were in the upper you. room. We were we, in the upper room and stayed there listen, the entire time. I'm, and this is not just for if you're if God has called you to write a book. Like mm -hmm. we're talking. Truly, any right. type of writing. If God is mm -hmm. calling you as his scribe. Yes. Blogs, devotionals, whatever he's mm. calling you to write out. Curriculum, yeah. right? Anything. All of that. This, this is the place you want to be. You Ooh. want to be in the building with yes. us. And we're not yes, just saying definitely. it because we're we're two of the facilitators. No. We are telling you, we are telling you. Well, Stephanie are, was one of the attendees and she's telling it right here on the screen, right? All oh, I wrote was yeah, some notes to capture the but let me tell you, let me tell you that it I can't begin to tell you. It might be called a writer's conference it's or a, birthing a writing retreat. A birthing retreat. But what That's I exactly tell you is, is you when you, whatever is inside of you. That you know God is calling you to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't let the name fool you. Mm -hmm. Show mm -hmm. up. Be there. It's not too often. It's not too often God allows you the the notice ahead of time of where his anointing is going to be. Ooh. And this is one of those times. Listen. We're, and the money that you were going to spend. Share with you. He's going to meet us there. I'm telling you, oh, yeah. the money that you was going to waste and misallocate anyway over the next 30 days on TVs that you don't need for Black Friday, okay, and on Christmas gifts that you don't need to buy. No, so into your obedience, mm -hmm. so into your next assignment, mm. okay, and get yourself there. And, wa and watch the grace of God cover the rest. My God. Mm -hmm. Watch God's grace cover the rest and you'll mm -hmm. be grateful mm -hmm. <laughs> won't they danielle won't they <laughs> gotta tie that tape right back on. <laughs> listen that was perfect <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i know we Ooh. have cut up tonight and i definitely know we have even more special guests next week y'all next week the screen oh, gonna do be we want to tell do we want to tell them before we end the night do we want to tell yes. them yes yes let's we? tell them let's tell them just tell them who's them. gonna be on don't necessarily tell them the topic but just at least tell them who's gonna be on well next week y'all it's going to be drum roll all of our <laughs> Sisters, it is sister, 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 Ooh. sister, 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 and sister. Yeah, next percent. Tuesday. If you're watching this on the replay, that is November 28th, the year of our Lord. Okay. <laughs> I cannot work earth tonight. Because I don't know when you're watching this on the replay. So when we say next Tuesday, it's you don't know when year. next Tuesday, but the 2023 of November 2023. Ooh. All of our sisters are going to be here Yay. for the first time in history on the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. So excited. So Ooh, excited. Could you imagine? Is it just the three of us cutting up and acting a fool? Ooh. Can you imagine? There's the five two of us? More. There's two more. There will be five sisters next mm -hmm. week on Listen. Are y'all ready? 
Are y'all ready for five Briscoe sisters? I don't know Amen. that y'all ready. No, I will be starting this week praying God's grace over our mouths. <laughs> my prayer is going to start tonight. <laughs> I just finished my wine, so I will be picking up more wine for next week. <laughs> that part. You pray and I'll pick up wine. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, we will make sure you have um, turned your notifications on on mm. Facebook because sometimes those algorithms... Sometimes yeah. we can get lost in that. So make sure you turn your notifications on so you know the moment we're going live. So you know when we've posted um, the event link so that it can send you a reminder when it's an hour or 30 minutes out. Because next week is again going to be fire, fire, fire. If this oh, whole season has not been just fire, mm. fire, fire. So. Oh, and I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't want to say I'm biased, but I can honestly say I think this season so far is topping, right? Oh, Some it's of been my favorite. It's been my favorite. And the back to back next week. And then what's coming behind that? And then what's coming behind that? And then what's coming behind that? But I think we all, we all don't want to miss the two. They're not ready. They're not the ready. And the season finale. Oh, my. Wait. Honey. Oh my God. You see, I had to lean way back in my seat on that one. And and y'all ain't here for us the, on the season the finale. We, we can just be, I mean, yeah. and some of these we've gotten the most engagement with. Ooh. This is our, you know, in some of yes. these seasons. So I can only Same. wait for what's to come. Yes. So we appreciate y'all hanging with us tonight. We pray this has been a blessing to you tonight, this conversation. Mm -hmm. Keep your comments or your questions coming. We're here. You can keep posting them in the chat. Um, and when you mm. want to bring Oh, me yes. We are bringing in Pastor Prophetess Evangelist Reverend Dr. Pastor Bell. How are you, woman of God? <laughs> I'm blessed. Thank you all for being grateful for grace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We are grateful for grace. I yeah. know. Ma'am, we are grateful for you and we are grateful for grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Pastor Bell, mm -hmm. what did you give us your feedback? We always ask you to say the blessing and to say the grace. But Pastor Bell, tell us, give us your feedback on grateful, grace, gratitude, mm -hmm. and grace. I'm grateful for grace because when I'm supposed to retire from work, <laughs> That month of December, I asked God for extension of grace. Mm -hmm. Even though he gave it to me, but I still fell and I hurt my knee. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there are consequences to asking for extended grace. And we didn't mm -hmm. even talk about the consequences tonight. That's, no. Do you see how God just said, ask her, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know I haven't asked Pastor Bell not in their time about feedback. Mm -hmm. But some, God said, ask okay. her about mm -hmm. her. So talk, we're going we to we give, Danielle, give us a little grace. Uh, ju just a little. Extend I'm going to give Tania, you some extension. While Tania gets her, her video back, give mm -hmm. us a little grace. Pastor Bell, talk to us about what it is like in that season, right, mm -hmm. of extended grace and something don't go right. Mm -hmm. Oh, in that season, it was a lot of suffering for me. I fell. Mm -hmm. in the, they didn't take me to the emergency room. I had to go to the doctor. I had to go to the emergency room. Oh, I had to work half days. It was really terrible. Mm. And then the other thing I didn't do either, I was able, I, I could have taken off 45 days, mm -hmm. but I, I decided to just go to work half a day, mm. <laughs> which I should have taken the 45 days off. Yes. See, we didn't even talk about that tonight. And I'm so glad that God always brings things full circle about what is like in that season of extended grace. And I hope, did, did, what was your takeaway? Did you learn that you were overdue? Yeah, I learned that I was overdue. So when God gives you a date to do something, you need to do it then. Because <laughs> mm. that, that extended the grace is perfect will. So she said pain. She said doctor bills. She said so it's gonna hit your pockets. Emergency. Room, it's huh? gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt your feelings because you knew you was supposed to do it, and then you're gonna start feeling feeling guilty. You're gonna have to repent. 
That's just a whole lot. And the just consequences a of said. extended grace. Pass the yeah. bell and come on here before the My blessing God. and let yeah. us know her experience of the consequence of yeah. extended grace. Let me tell you. Pass the bell. Mm. It's best to just be obedient. Do what God tells you to do. Ooh, well, that part. You better listen to the Reverend Chaplain right. Bishop. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's speaking mm -hmm. the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's pain and procrastination, honey, ain't it? Oh, yes, it is. The Ooh. warning, the warning, giving in love has gone out tonight, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's gone out tonight. Yeah, we definitely God. need to pray after that. We need to make sure that we that we stay in God's grace. That's a bell. And pray you. us into grace, honey. And oh, not look, not the extended grace, but to know when the grace, listen, yeah. the good grace. Yeah, the, the good, good grace. grace. All right. Mm. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for this uh talk and listen on tonight on grateful grace. Father, we just thank you. For your grace that you have extended upon us, oh, Father, even when we have been disobedient, delayed disobedience, Father, we thank you, Father, and and we've all, I don't know if all, they've all been, I've been through the consequences of asking for extended grace when it wasn't your will. Help us to be obedient, oh, Father, and to the things that you have us to do, especially as we're going into this new season, Father. Help us to be obedient. Help us to continually seek your face early and find out exactly what you're saying give us clarity oh god in the name of jesus even if you have a date for us to do what you've assigned to our hands father give us that date father we come against that spirit of procrastination father and i speak that we do it now in the name of jesus father we just thank you we thank you for each one of the presenters on tonight we thank you for when we thank you for tania and we thank you for danielle father we thank you for them as they shared about the grateful grace father we just thank you lord god we thank you lord god and we pray oh father that we get our houses in order our physical house our spiritual house father our financial houses father and every area of our lives oh father we want to be in your perfect will lord in the name of jesus father we just thank you we know that your grace is sufficient whatever we may have to go through whether we suffering through pain father i come against the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus, and I speak divine healing for you are the Lord our God that healeth thee. You the heal of all sickness and disease, Father. And we thank you, Lord God, for divine healing on tonight, God. We thank you for divine deliverance on tonight, Father, from being disobedient, oh Father, from asking for that extended grace when we know we should need to do it now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just speak obedience upon each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you. We thank you for peace as we keep our minds stayed on you, oh Father. And we lift up all those who may be traveling. Father, this weekend, we pray for your traveling mercies. We pray, Father, against accidents, repairs, tickets, breakdowns, Lord. We pray, Father, that you bless them with divine protection. Keep them covered in your blood, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we repent of anything we may have done or said it wasn't of you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you create in us clean hearts and renew by spirits, Father. Hallelujah, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, as we gather together, oh God, with our family members, our loved ones, or whoever we may be gathering with. Father, let us be able to just be thankful. You said in the word, in all our ways, in all things, we ought to be thankful for. That is the will of the Lord in Christ Jesus. So we are thankful, Lord God. We're thankful, Lord, hallelujah, for bringing us this far by faith. Father, we just thank you for your grace, that your grace is sufficient for us, Father. We forever give you praise. We give you honor, Father. And we thank you, Lord God, for the fire. The fire, hallelujah. The fire, oh, yeah, they're both shot. The fire of the Holy Ghost. We thank you. Thank you, Lord God, even for another touch, oh God. We thank, hallelujah, God, glory. We thank you as you just, hallelujah, restore and replenish unto those that have given up today, oh Father. We store back to them, oh God. Hallelujah, God. And we thank you for mm, ha, we thank you for the release out tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. And we magnify your name, God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Because there's nothing too hard for you, God. And we just thank you. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 And amen. amen. 
Amen. I think Amen. the most favorite part of the show for me is, is the daggone blessing and prayer at the end. I mean, I get excited every time I see Chaplain Bell go in the green room. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mean. And two nights in a row, because she played, she prays us out on Bible study with for all the oh, prayer requests on Monday night. Then she prays on Tuesday. Honey, what you doing tomorrow night? You we can just keep it going. Right, <laughs> right in the Thanksgiving. <laughs> Before I go to bed, I just need to call Pastor Bell. Be like, can we just say prayer? Can we just say right. prayer? God bless you all. Love you all. Thank you, you so you too. much. You have happy Bell. Thanksgiving too. Okay, yes. you all too. You have a happy Thanksgiving. You too. Okay. See you next Tuesday. Okay. We're gonna need a prayer next Tuesday. Oh, we definitely gonna need a prayer next Tuesday. <laughs> I know you perseverance. Oh my God. Yes. All the sisters. We gonna need Ooh. all the prayer. For oh, next okay. <laughs> you can start praying now. Right. <laughs> okay. I will. Okay. okay. I'll let you all. <laughs> bye bye. <sighs> listen, y'all. Listen. I love it. Tonight mm. was such a blessing. Y'all blessed us so so much, and we play. We mm. pray mm. that yeah. we were a blessing to y'all tonight, and being obedient. Yeah to tonight's topic and discussing tonight's topic. So we love you all. We will see you next Tuesday. Mm. Bring in more fire, fire, fire. Yes. And <laughs> invite your season. sisters or your yes. cousins, your nieces, your aunties, your mamas. Your, invite your girls. Okay. Yes. It's going to be a great, great, great episode with our sisters. So invite the women in your lives to watch with us. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a whole conversation, y'all. Woo. <laughs> We just we just letting you know that. Oh, yeah, we gonna be doing that all night. <laughs> oh Lord, mm. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <sighs> yes, you see me over here clutching they, my big pearl. They're <laughs> not ready. I know we're not ready. <laughs> First Ooh. time ever, you're gonna see the five sisters on the screen next Tuesday. You don't want to be late. Eight. PM Eastern, 7 PM Central, and every other time zone, govern yourself. Okay. We hope to see you next Tuesday. And that is the 28th of November. Okay. Yes. Right back here live on Listen. Yes. So then we will see you next okay. week. Keep Take listening, y'all. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>